Hey guys, Seal Cannon here from Fiction Atlas Press bringing you this week's Indie Connection. This week we're going to be talking about indie books that you might like if you enjoy Jojo Moyes who writes the beautiful Me Before You books, uh, After You. They're very emotional, romantic books. And uh, if you like JoJo, then here are some indie titles that you should definitely check out. The first book I have for you is called Friends Like These by Hannah Ellis. Finding new friends shouldn't be so difficult. When newly single Marie decides to shake up her social life, she knows exactly what she wants. Stylish, sophisticated friends, and no romantic complications. But a chance encounter brings some unlikely characters into her life, throwing her plans way off course. She just can't seem to get rid of this bunch of misfits. And then there's Brian, whose good looks and charm might just distract Marie from her ideas about staying single. And this is actually by another British rom-com author, and I thought it would be a perfect fit for fans of JoJo. The second book I have for you is called Up in the Tree House by K.K. Allen. And I picked this novel because it is pretty much one of my favorite romances out there, especially by indie authors. This is just a really great, sweet, second chance romance. And it's been at the top of my favorite reads for like two years now. I wanted to tell him all my secrets, but he became one of them instead. Chloe Rivers never thought she would keep secrets from her best friend. Then again, she never imagined she would fall in love with him either. When she finally reveals her feelings, rejection shatters her, rendering her vulnerable and sending her straight into the destructive arms of the wrong guy. Gavin Rhodes never saw the betrayal coming. It crushes him. Chloe has always been his forbidden fantasy, sweet, tempting, and beautiful. But when the opportunity finally presents itself, he makes the biggest mistake of all and denies her. Now it's too late. Four years after a devastating tragedy, Chloe and Gavin's worlds collide and they find themselves entangling once again. Haunted by the past, they are forced to come to terms with all that has transpired to find the peace they deserve. Except they can't seem to go near each other without combating an intense emotional connection that brings them right back to where it all started, their childhood treehouse. Chloe still holds her secrets close, but this time she isn't the only one with something to hide. Can their deep-rooted connection survive the destruction of innocence? Again, guys, this is such a good, sweet book, and there's it's a little sizzle, there's a little sizzle factor, but I think it is just one of the most adorable stories ever, and you should definitely check it out. The next book I have for you is called Lives Collide, and this is by Christina Beck. You can plan your life, but sometimes life has a mind of its own. Following Lisa's near-death experience as a teenager, she is haunted by the emerald green eyes of the stranger who saved her life. Her only connection to him is the leather jacket he left behind. Years later, she's still reeling from the after-effects of her injuries, convinced that no man will love her once he uncovers her secret. She lives a life of solitude and hides behind her days of monotony. And then James storms into her life. And the last book I have for you is called Prince Charming by Sarah Selly. What happens when the high school geek and the prom queen find out they have more in common than just schoolwork? Senior class overachiever Geoff Miller thought that he had it all figured out. All he needed to do was make it through the next six months, graduate, and get on with his life. College at the University of Virginia beckoned him, and he just wanted to put the last horrible four years at Heritage High School in the done folder. But Geoff hadn't counted on one important thing. Beautiful, magnetic Leanne Phillips. For years, Geoff crushed on Leanne from afar. He didn't think she even knew he existed. In fact, his obsession seemed to him like a distraction from an unhappy life in a snobby, greater Cincinnati suburb. Until the day, everything changed. And when it did, this unlikely Prince Charming got a chance to make his move on Leanne. And this story, interestingly enough, is actually a retelling of Cinderella. 
and I thought that was a great take and I thought that you guys would like it. That's all I have for you this week. Next week we'll be back with another Indie Connection.